Yet another state is suing to block the failed former president, Donald Trump, the guy who's been impeached twice, indicted four times and found to be a civilly liable rapist. That's the guy I'm talking about. Yet another state is suing to try to keep him off of the ballot in 2024. This is all on the basis of the 14th Amendment to the Constitution, which we've discussed now many times. I told you that there is a lawsuit in South Florida saying Trump incited an insurrection and provided aid and comfort to those who did. And thus he is ineligible to run for president. He is ineligible to hold public office in New Hampshire. There is a movement to look at doing the same thing and saying Trump can't be president again. And then now in Minnesota, Axios reports Trump faces 14th Amendment lawsuit in Minnesota. A liberal group has filed a lawsuit seeking to bar Trump from the ballot, citing the 14th Amendment stipulation on engaging in an insurrection. It's the second su such lawsuit in less than a month as liberal groups and state election officials want to use that 14th Amendment to block Trump's bid. The lawsuit says, quote, he is disqualified from holding the presidency or any other office under the United States unless and until Congress provides him relief. The third section of the 14th Amendment says no one should hold office in the U.S. if they have, quote, engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the U.S. or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. I believe it is obvious that Donald Trump did both of those things. But I really want to cut to the chase and the bottom line on these lawsuits because so many of you have emailed me with the exact same question, very astutely realizing, uh, you know, David, if New Hampshire bans Trump from the ballot, if Minnesota bans Trump from the ballot, if Connecticut and New York and Massachusetts and Vermont and California, if they all ban Trump from the ballot, those aren't states Trump was going to win anyway. Does it really do anything other than maybe firing up Trump voters in states that are more 50 50 swing states? And could this actually backfire by making voters in Arizona say, hey, you know what? I wasn't going to vote, but because they're blocking Trump and trying to decide for me instead of letting me decide, I'm going to go out and vote Trump in Arizona. And maybe Arizona would have gone to Biden, but instead it goes to Trump. I believe that is a very real risk. I, I there are sometimes conflicting beliefs that we have to hold simultaneously. On the one hand, it is obvious that Trump should not be eligible to hold public office again. He did incite an insurrection and he did provide aid and comfort to those who uh, participated by saying he loves them. They're great. They're right to be there, but it's time to go home that he might look at pardoning many of them. He did that. He violated the 14th Amendment. There is no question about it. At the same time, unless a bunch of red state and swing states would realistically consider barring Trump from running, this isn't going to change the outcome because these are for now. New Hampshire is more of a 50 50 state, although it's very few electoral votes. It's unlikely to make the difference right now. None of these lawsuits, even if they did succeed at keeping Trump off the ballot, would really change the electoral map and the fight for 270 electoral votes. So I'm worried about that, but also think obviously Trump should not be allowed to run where the balance ultimately falls certainly remains to be seen.